Hello, 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 hello. How are you guys doing today? Candace B here, and I'm back again with another vlog. Bing bang. It is Tuesday, November 30th today. It is 12.30 p.m. in the afternoon, and as you can see, I'm on the road. I have not left my house in a while, and it's really because, you know, it's, it's snowing now. It's snowing, as you can see. I have my winter jacket, the the red sack has been pulled out officially and it's because winter is officially here. Um, I don't know how to feel about it. I feel like as Canadians, we never prepare for winter even though it's always inevitable and we're always like shocked when it comes. But I feel like it's pretty early because it's the last day of the second last month of the year. You know, it's not technically winter yet. I don't know, is it? I don't know. I think it's still considered fall. But yeah, like it's literally full on snow, but luckily, I got my winter tires on. I put them on myself, guys. I know you might be thinking, Candace, what? Yes, I put my winter tires on myself. Obviously, my dad was kind of there just to watch, but I did it. Like, I did it. So I'm really proud of myself, guys. I'm really proud of myself. I just feel like, you know, why wait on other people to help you? Why pay for something that you can do on your own? It's a good skill to have. And now I have the option if I want to pay for someone to do it, then they can do it. But if I want to do it by myself, I can. If I'm ever stuck on, you know, the street, if I knock on wood, get a flat tire, I know how to change my tire and get myself out of that situation. So yeah, we are mobile, you know, we are mobile. We are safe in these streets. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I've been pretty productive today. Um, I didn't wake up too, too early, but I had um, done a bit of editing. I'm still editing BC content for both my main channel and my, oops, this is twisted, um, for my main channel and my, um, my vlog channel this channel obviously you guys are watching I still have to edit that content it's just a lot of content and obviously like it's been two weeks I'm already back home and whatnot just living my life and like things are just picking up in because obviously like you know you have little gatherings to go to when it comes to the holidays and things just keep popping up so yeah I'm not the best when it comes to time management as well I definitely can do better my procrastination is is ridiculous so yeah but we're working on it we're working on it and um yeah so i was doing a little bit of that i'm going to go back home to do that obviously i also have been trading today oh my goodness you guys trading has been just a whirlwind for me it's just been a whirlwind but i'll talk about that later because i traded in bc and it was going well it was not until i got home that i really messed up my account so we'll talk about that later i also had a really exciting phone call this morning a um a company reached out to me to partner up and do a sponsorship so this is kind of like my first official brand deal and you know talking to them on the phone and getting everything sorted out all like the logistics so it's really exciting we're stepping up in life we're stepping up in life and i'm really proud of myself i gotta pat myself on the back but we are right now at Walmart. I got to do some grocery shopping for my mom and my grandma. So we're going to get that done. Um, I'll take you guys in with me. Might as well. Guys, my mom and I are literally obsessed with lean cuisines, so I'm about to get like 15 of them, so don't judge me, okay? They are calculated, the calories are calculated, and they're a nice, quick, healthy meal, I guess you can say, so don't judge. Mission accomplished, we are finished at the grocery store, um, got everything I needed, well, basically everything except for one item and I was monitoring um, my trade while I was um, while I was grocery shopping so that was pretty cool you know it's it's always cool to know that like you know you can make money from your phone while doing other things like you know it's just shout out to Forex I just love Forex honestly next stop is to go to um, go to Under Armour I want to look for a Christmas gift for my boyfriend um, so yeah I think I, I just want to I don't usually do Christmas shopping or anything like that like or like I don't do it in person like I will buy everything online <laughs> 
but I get like in this case I don't mind because I live so close to kind of like all these stores so I'm just gonna go see what they have at these outlet stores I'm not planning to buy a lot of Christmas gifts this year like I never really do I also don't like receiving Christmas gifts I don't know I just think it's like Christmas like just give me good food and like good vibes and I'm good but yeah, I think um, pretty much just like the little babies in our family are really who we buy for at this point. Everyone else can buy things on their own. Like I can't buy for my parents. They have everything they need. My mom wants the bathrooms done at our house, rightfully so, but that's like at least $20,000. And I'm sorry, I don't have that in my back pocket. So like, that's what she wants for Christmas. And the only person that can give that to her is my dad. So I'm not involved, you know? Um, and my dad wants like a car starter and stuff. All oh, this is expensive, okay? My parents are very, like, the things that they want are very expensive, and I just can't. I just can't deal. So we'll see what type of gifts I end up even giving them, if I do end up giving them a gift. Um, but the people that I know who I'm buying for, like, are easy. Like, little kids in the family. My boyfriend, like, he just wants basic things. So, yeah. Let's go. Big tomb, big tomb. All right, guys. Bag has been secured. Yes. That's pretty much all I had to do on the road. Um, It's 2.18 now, so that took, like, what? two hours almost two hours i'm starving i have not eaten anything today i just have my honey and lemon water which i love um i'm gonna go check out tim horton see if they have any tim beebs in stock we'll see i feel like it probably will be sold out but i'm gonna try so fingers crossed that we get some tim beebs okay worst case scenario i'll get like five tim bits if there are no tim beebs but damn this line is long I mean, this is like a regular line, but what are the odds that everyone is wanting Tim Beebs? Probably a high chance. Probably a high chance, you know? I mean, I guess it would make more sense just to go inside. But, like, who wants to go inside right now? It'd be funny if I decided to go inside instead and there were, like, so many um, people in there just lining up for Tim Bits. At least it's not called Bieber Bits. Like, that would, that would sound weird. Finally home. Oh my gosh, guys, I am tired. I'm hungry. I have a headache, but we did what we had to do. I'm sorry about the lighting. It's super gloomy outside and it's about to be dark. Even though it's like 3 p.m., it's about to be dark in like an hour, which sucks, but that's winter. Copped the Tim Beebs. We secured the bag. They had two out of the three flavors. I think they didn't have sour cream, something, something, but they had birthday waffle and white chocolate fudge, I think it's called. So we're gonna test those two out and see how good it is. I feel like it is gonna be good because Timbits in general are really good. So yeah, I'm excited that I got some. This is my first meal of the day, literally my first meal of the day, but let us try it out right now. Mm. <laughs> mm. These are good. I usually don't like chocolate Timbits, but these have white chocolate on it and it's like fudge. These are bomb. So these are the birthday cake waffle ones. These are the ones I really wanted to try. I love birthday cake Timbits and I don't know what about this is a waffle, but we don't judge the beebs, okay? We don't judge. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do you see the little birthday cake pieces in there? So good. Back in my office now, I need to start editing again and I'm trying to find the energy I am tired, but the show must go on. I just got a package in the mail. Not randomly, but kind of random. I ordered a new phone because of Black Friday, obviously. I'm pretty sure a lot of people ordered some sort of technology, but I had to upgrade my phone anyways because I'm on this like plan where you have to like bring back the phone and then you get a new phone every two years. So my two years is up and I got a new phone for cheaper and I got the new iPhone 13. How cool. Yeah, I'm not really into phones like that, so I'm not like, oh my god, but yeah, it's cool. I mean, it's gonna be the same as my 11. It's gonna be the same as my 11. Like, it's literally the same. The only difference is the camera is on the other side, like one of the lenses. I don't know, it's still the same color. Let's unbox it while I have you guys on the phone. I mean, what am I saying? So you can tell I'm, I'm tired. Trying to open this and I am struggling. How do you open this? Oh, there's like an arrow thing. Ooh. Whoops. Okay, the one thing I didn't realize and I don't like is the, the US, it's different. This is different. This is different. I don't have, like how am I supposed to plug this in? This goes into the phone, but like, what does this go into? Like, what do I do? Oh, this is cute. <laughs> 
I'm just gonna turn it off though. <laughs> it's really hard for me to stay awake right now. Um, so yeah, a little update on the trades that I was in. I was actually doing pretty well when I was out running errands, um, but managing the trade kind of got hard for me because, um, yeah, I thought that price was gonna push a bit lower um, and it didn't, but I will tell you guys quickly just what happened in um, BC. So yeah, BC was great. I basically, my account, I blew it to $40 before I went to BC and then I was able to build it back up to $470. So that was cool. You know, my head was in the game, all that good stuff. Came back home, was trading as normal and I accidentally forgot to put a stop loss. And of course I was in buys when GJ plummeted last week or the week before or whatever at the end of the week. So yeah, that took out my whole account. So long story short, I blew my account again. And even worse, I blew it down to $6, $6 guys. So at that point I was just like, man, whatever. But I ended up rebuilding it. I will not to the full extent obviously, but I ended up starting to rebuild it so at the time that i showed you guys where i was at i think i was at like one um 170 or something so i basically basically built the account the account from six dollars to 170 but i held the trade and now it's back down to uh 90 dollars i think so we'll see what happens with that trade but yeah this is what this was the same trade that i was in when I was at the grocery store and I was plus 60, now I am negative 20. And that's definitely my bad because I had many opportunities to exit the trade, but I think I was too focused on vlogging. I was too focused on running my errands that I really wasn't too zoned in. But either way, the fact that I, you know, I was able to build it kind of back up from $6, that's interesting. Um, maybe I'm thinking that like, I don't know, I'm just, I'm kind of noticing that I do better when my account size is like super, super small. Like I feel like I have less fear. I feel like I see the market and see so many opportunities so much clearer, but then when it comes to like, you know, larger account sizes, I mean, $500 is not a large account size, but when it gets to that like $500 or more, it's like, I don't know, I feel like pressure or something like self-inflicted pressure. And then. I end up blowing that account like or you know messing it up or if i build it then i will withdraw the profits and then i'll blow the initial deposit like it's just kind of like a never-ending cycle which is super annoying super you know just debilitating right i don't know i don't know it's just it's just weird anyways i should get back to editing i am blabbing too much so Saturday, December the 4th, just a little after 10.30 in the morning. And as you can see, I'm in my kitchen. It's been a few days since I last vlogged. Um, I've just been spending time with family, spending time with Bay. you know, just living life. Um, I told you guys already that I'm not too good with this vlogging thing, but we are going to have a productive day, hopefully today. Um, this weekend's gonna be a little bit busy. I have my friend's daughter's christening to go to tomorrow. So I have to kind of get some things done before then, including these nails. So I was waiting for a nail kit in the mail and it came a few days ago. So I tried to attempt to do my nails with this poly gel method that is very, very popular. And I've watched many videos on 
And let's just say that it was a little bit of a fail. Um, we're gonna try again. We're gonna get these nails looking proper so that we don't go out this weekend and look crazy. Um, yeah, so I will show you guys. This is the set of nails that I just did a few days ago, like literally two days ago. And yeah, as you can see, it's very like bumpy, cracked with this polymer gel. I thought that this poly gel was gonna be much easier, but it wasn't, so I'm gonna try a different method. So here is the before, and this is the after. So still a little bit of work that I need to do on these nails, but I think they are so cute. You know, I did a little bit of a rhinestone design. I did a little bit of an ombre marble effect thing. I'm still working on it, guys, but I think that these are super cute, super cute concepts. So it is now Monday, December the 6th, and it's just before 6 p.m. in the afternoon. So yeah, a whole day has passed. Sunday was very, very busy. And so yeah, I just actually finished doing a video for the company that I am now working with on my main channel. So definitely go check out that video out whenever it's posted. Hopefully it's good and hopefully it's helpful. Um, yeah, and now I'm so hot. So I was gonna go today to get my new phone activated and switch over this phone, but I think I'm gonna wait another like week. I'm gonna wait till the end of the week. I did order a screen protector and a, a phone case and whatnot, and it says the order has been shipped. So I'm hoping that it arrives soon, but the longer I wait, the better. Let's just say that, let's just say that. Okay, I promise I can dance, but that is my celebration dance when I get things done at a good time. Uh. <laughs> it is Tuesday, December 7th. It's just before 1.30 in the afternoon. And I've completed my video for my main channel that I had to do with the brand that I'm working with. So I'm gonna send that off to them. And we are heading out for a fun day. Oh my gosh, I just almost dropped my phone. This is why I don't want to activate my new phone. I just picture it dropping and I'm just I'm just nervous. Anyways, so yeah, we are heading out on a fun day, going to meet up with Bay while well, he's coming here and then we're going to go to lunch. We're gonna get some sushi because we love sushi. And then we're gonna head downtown to go to the Christmas market. So every year Toronto has this like Christmas market at this distillery district place. I don't know, I've never been. So I'm super excited to go because it's so like, cute and there's a bunch of lights and stuff so i'll take you guys with me obviously because it's gonna be so cute and i'm so excited i'm actually really happy that i charged my camera last night just on a whim so we full battery out here we prepare it out here but yeah let me just hurry up because bay's probably on his way and i need to get this video sent over to the people them and then we're gonna head on the road i was walking and driving dangerous if i'm just literally that's more dangerous i'm not touching my camera so unfortunately the sushi place that we wanted to go to their power is out or something like that. That was the reason they gave. So we gotta find somewhere else to go. I am starving. You're starving too? Mm -hmm. We're both starving and we need to eat before we head to the Christmas market. I don't know why I'm so excited. I'm, I'm sure it's probably not gonna be that exciting, but I love seeing Christmas lights and stuff. It's just so cute, you know, so cute. Um, no, that's it, thank you. It's a little cold out here. <laughs> He's so mad. <laughs> Yay! Miserable mom. Fucking nice. Fun. It's hella cold outside. It is brick outside. I wasn't. I, I I admit I did not check the weather before I left my house. I did. And 
I would have brought, if I did, I would have brought my earmuffs. I would have brought mittens because my fingers are literally like frozen. And I, I would probably, well, I'm warm other than that. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Anyways, we're gonna go get maybe some dessert or something. I don't know what we're gonna do, but I have to use the bathroom very badly. And I'm like an hour away from home, so that's just you're peachy. You're 40 minutes away from home. I said what I said. Chocolate bar? Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, usually when you see like kind of the chocolate bar, it looks the same. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you too. See you soon. Bye. Bye.